This training module will discuss the most common adjustments that are made. Upon initial installation or after using the plow for a few hours, you may notice that some other relief valves will not keep pressure as well as they should. The HDV plow is used as an example, but the principle remains the same across all of our plows. Let's begin with what might be the most common adjustment. The headgear is settling while trying to attach it to the truck. The HDV is the exception with the fix for this situation as it has two valves that require adjustment. The RV2 and RV9 relief valves are located on the passenger side of the manifold next to the solenoid. You can pause the video to read through the four steps about adjusting RV2. If you're working on the HDV plow, fully seat RV9 and then set RV2. And then set RV9 down to a pressure setting below 425 PSI and then slowly bring it up to 425 PSI. Here's an example of the Scrape Max feature that has an improperly set RV2 valve. If you have the HDV plow, the RV9 valve could be out of adjustment as well. Let's take a look at what is happening on the hydraulic schematic so you have a better understanding of what is happening inside the manifold. In both cases, the base end, the lift cylinder, is relieving too soon. In all Snow X plows, the RV2 needs to be adjusted. As you can see, the HDV has an additional RV9 valve in parallel as well. This is why both need to be adjusted at the same time. This is also a good time to talk about what you can do if your plow is drifting down while driving, or it just won't raise. Begin by turning the drop speed valve all the way in clockwise. By doing this, you are taking the place of the check valve in S1. Once the drop speed valve is fully seated, try to raise the plow again. If it raises, then you have narrowed your issue down to a contaminated S1 valve. Follow the blade drop speed adjustment guide in your owner's manual for resetting the valve. But if the drop speed valve is in all the way and the blade still drops by itself, then you should swap CV1 with CV2 to see if the problem goes away, or you could also have a leaking seal in the lift ram. Again, ensure that the blade is on the ground before removing any valves. Another issue that might happen is that a plow might not hold angle or the wings may drift back while plowing or sink back while it's lifted. Here's an example. In this example, the driver's side won't hold the plow in the scoop position. It could be either the RV3 or RV4. Begin troubleshooting by turning the valves all the way in and then backing them out one and a quarter turns each. This is the default setting for these valves set at 4600 PSI. If the plow still won't hold position, it is suggested that the valves be taken out of the block and inspect both the valve pieces as well as the inside of the manifold. On the hydraulic flow chart, you'll see how these valves are involved in relieving the pressure on both the driver and passenger sides. If the wings fold forward while back dragging, just one valve on each side, in this case RV7 and RV8, are the relief valves that can be adjusted. Well, those are the most common relief valve adjustments that are made in the field. We hope that this training module has helped you become more confident in your troubleshooting.